Yo, what up, YouTube? We about to do a little tapering lining. But hold on, this is the holding spray that I use. Got to be. It's a real good holding spray, one of my favorites. It, it gives it a nice, crispy, clean cut. And it keep and make it look so so crispy. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how it's gonna look. But anyway, I apply that to the head. I put it on my fingertips with my gloves on because it's kind of sticky. So after I put that on, I let it dry. So when I'm letting it dry, I start with the back line and I do it around the ear. You know, I got the gold, gold babyless. That's one of the reasons why I start in the back so it can dry in the front. By the time I get to the front, it already already be dry and it's all I all I need to work with. So like you know what I'm saying? Like when you're doing like hair like this, you see how it's thin and light. All you gotta do is just touch it basically. Even though it's thin, just keep it thin. You know, you ain't gotta go back too far in it. So in the front, I got my wall designers. I'm gonna take this little excess hair down. Now as you can see, as I'm taking it down, you see where it gets lighter at. Like I said. Her hair is thin and light, so you really don't gotta go into it too much. It's basically like baby hairs almost. You just wanna take that down on the sides and take a little darkness out. And we're gonna fade all that in. We're just gonna take this down for right quick. That's all we're doing is just going over it. We got the guard all the way open. Got the, yeah, got all the way, got the clipper all the way open. And we're just gonna go with the grain on it. Making sure it's all even. Alright. Now we got our babyless liners again. We're gonna start in the middle and work our way to the to the side. We're going to the right this time. We're just gonna tap it a little bit. Keep, still keep it natural, still keep it looking clean looking. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's light, like I said, we're just touching it. Just tapping it. That's all we're gonna do. Just a little tap, tap, tap. And you got, like I said, with these clippers, you ain't gotta put too much work in on them. Cause they basically work for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, they came with just it. They already cool. So it's basically it right here. That's what we doing. Just tapping it, Just touching it a little bit. And as you can see, you, it looks natural. But basically, it is natural. But you see how that, that crispy look? That was the holding spray that we put on there. There it is, natural. It's looking natural. Now we add in the Barber Magic pencil, and this is gonna spice it up just a tad bit. We're just gonna apply that on there, and then go over it, and give it a. A little crispier looking, looking look to it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna do too much to it. Just give it a little crispier look to it. You know, just touching it, touching the edges. Still keeping it clean. Starting to, we're gonna start the little C cup. We're gonna do a half C on this one, not the whole C. We're gonna taper them sides a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So we got our walls all the way open and we're gonna go up. We're not gonna go up too far because that braid is right there. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna interact with the hair that's pulling along that br br that braid you just want to stay right, right where you at now we got our guard on there and we're gonna flick up just stay right here where we at we're not gonna go up where i was putting the comb at right here that's all we're gonna go we're not gonna go past that we're gonna stay right there guard is off now we're just gonna flick flicking that little area getting that little line out you know what i'm saying we don't want to go up too far like i said with braids, you gotta be careful doing it because you don't want to go and interfere with the hair that's part of the braid that's pulling it. Now we're gonna start the little half C. Then we're gonna finish the half C. Half C. Just gonna tap it a little bit. Make sure it look good. Just hit it. Curve it. Curve it. Put the little curve up in there. You know what I'm saying? That's all we're doing. Now we got the Barber Magic Pencil and we're gonna go over it. Now it's the time to apply the fibers. Like I said, you don't want to add too much to it. You just want to hit it just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Keep it neat as possible. Not putting too much. You want to still keep it looking natural as possible. You know what I'm saying? You want you don't want nobody can, to tell that it has black inside of it. Like I said, one of my clients, he um he told me he, he was like, I like the way you do it because you make the black look so natural. It's like it's not even anything inside of it and that's how it's supposed to look so now we're doing the other side whatever we did to the other to that side we gotta do to this side to match it up so we, like i said we're gonna take this down in the front again like how we did the other side still you know what i'm saying just take it down we see getting a little dark marks out going around the whole thing laying it down like i said it's still gonna be light but that's cool ain't no problem all right now we're gonna hit it start in the middle and we're gonna work our way to the left this time. And we're just gonna tap it. That's it. 
tap just a little bit, you know, getting it crispy, getting it straight. Ain't gonna do too much to it. Just gonna tap it, that's it. Stand right on the outline of it, where it's natural as possible. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna go in too much. We're gonna keep it right, that natural line right where it's at. Now you can go over it a few times, you know, make it crispier and crispier. Make sure you're getting it where you want it to get it. Basically, that's what we're doing now. All right, now we're gonna start with the Barber Magic Pencil. Start in the middle, work our way to the left. Just gonna hit it a little bit, you know, putting that inside there. Now we got the wall designers all the way open. We're gonna go up. Like I said, whatever you do to the right side, we gotta do this side. And again, you don't wanna go up too far. We're not gonna go up too far. We're gonna stay right here because we see where the hair is pulling that braid. So we're gonna stay in this area, not going up past this. Just fade it a little bit, make sure it look good, make sure it look neat and clean. And we're just going to take the blade off, the guard off, we're going to flick up. Like I said, it's not too much to it. Now we're going with the grain with it, taking a little excess darkness off, getting that fade all the way together over there. Making it look easy. Now we're going to do the half seat, not the whole seat, like I said, the half seat. We're going to... Get that crispy little line up in there, put that inside there. As you can see, get your sideburns and put that little half seat, go over that. Make sure you get that crispy. That's all we're doing. Making it look A1, 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 hitting it. Now we're gonna apply the Barber Magic Pencil on it and just gonna hit it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Not too much. Just put that little curve in there. Hair fibers again. Gonna do this side, like I said, you want you want to make it look natural as possible, not too much, not none of that heavy darkness. You know what I'm saying? You want it to look natural as possible. You don't want nobody to know that it's fibers inside there. And we're just gonna hit it. It's gonna tap it a little bit. That's all. Just tap it. Hit that side. Tap it. In the middle, tap it. We got this. All we're gonna do. Now we're gonna start in the middle again. And just make sure we clean everything up. Now we're going to do the back. And go around the ear. Like I said, clean up everything. It ain't too much to do. You know what I'm saying? Just enough to do it. Now look at that. It's pretty decent right there. We're going to fill it in a little bit because it's kind of light. You still want it to look natural though. Like, if you can see, it doesn't look like we put black inside of it. It still looks natural. It looks like a natural hairline. Like it's dark hair there. And we're just gonna tap it. But yeah, YouTube, that wraps it up for this video. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. And we'll be dropping another video in a couple days. Probably tomorrow. You know, yeah, probably tomorrow. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all give this video a thumbs up and comment. Thanks.